Welcome to Celestial Chronicles, the channel where we explore the fascinating stories. In this video, we will talk about the life and role of the Angel of Death, Azrael, in Islam. Azrael is one of the four archangels, along with Gabriel, Michael, and Israfil. He is responsible for taking the souls of people when their time comes. He is often feared by many, but he is actually a mercy from Allah. Let's find out more about him and his encounters with some of the prophets. Azrael looks at every human 366 times a day. He has a book in which he writes the names of all the people who are born and erases the names of those who die. He knows the exact time and place of everyone's death. He is assigned to take the souls of people, whether they are believers or disbelievers, righteous or sinful, young or old. He does not discriminate or favor anyone. He only follows the commands of Allah. He has different ways of taking the souls depending on the deeds of the person. For the believers, he takes their souls gently and peacefully, like a drop of water falling from a glass. He gives them glad tidings of paradise and the pleasure of Allah. He is accompanied by angels of mercy who wrap the soul in a white cloth and perfume it with musk. For the disbelievers, he takes their souls harshly and violently, like a thorny branch being pulled out of wet wool. He gives them warnings of hellfire and the wrath of Allah. He is accompanied by angels of punishment who wrap the soul in a black cloth and stench it with a foul odor. Azrael met Prophet Muhammad during his ascension to heaven, known as the Mirage. He greeted him and told him about his duty. He said, O Muhammad, I am the angel of death. I take the souls of your nation and the previous nations. Allah has ordered me to take your soul whenever you wish. He showed him his true form and how he takes the souls. He said, I have four faces, one for each direction. I have four thousand wings, each with four thousand feathers, each with four thousand eyes, each with four thousand mouths, each with four thousand tongues, each praising Allah in a different language. I have four hundred thousand helpers, each with four hundred thousand hands, each holding four hundred thousand pens, each writing the names of the living and the dead. He also met him again when he was about to die and asked for his permission. He said, O Muhammad, Allah has sent me to you. He has given you the choice to stay in this world or to meet him in the hereafter. Prophet Muhammad chose to meet Allah and gave his soul to Azrael. Azrael encountered other prophets and their stories as well. He met Prophet Idris who asked him to take his soul and return it, and then he went to heaven alive. He said, O oh Idris, I have come to take your soul. Idris said, Can you take my soul and then return it to me, so that I can see what happens after death? Azrael agreed and took his soul. He then returned it to him and said, O oh Idris, you are the first person to die and come back to life. Allah has raised you to a high station in heaven. You will not die again until the day of judgment. Idris thanked Allah and ascended to heaven with his body and soul. He met Prophet Solomon who helped a man escape from him, but he still found him in India. He said, O oh Solomon, I have come to take the soul of this man who is sitting next to you. Solomon said, Can you wait for a moment, so that I can talk to him? Azrael agreed and waited. Solomon then used his power to command the wind to carry the man to India, hoping to save him from death. Azrael smiled and said, O oh Solomon, you have done a favor to this man. Allah has ordered me to take his soul in India, and I did not know how to get there. But you have made it easy for me. He then flew to India and took the man's soul. He met Prophet Moses who hit him and made him lose an eye, and then Allah restored it. He said, O oh Moses, I have come to take your soul. Moses said, Who are you? Azrael said, I am the angel of death. Moses said, Go away, I do not want to die. He then punched him in the eye and knocked it out. Azrael returned to Allah and complained. Allah said, O oh Azrael, I have restored your eye. Go back to Moses and tell him that if he wants to live longer, he should put his hand on the back of an ox and count how many hairs are under his hand. That is how many years he will live. Azrael went back to Moses and told him. Moses said, And then what? Azrael said, And then you will die. Moses said, Then let it be now. He then gave his soul to Azrael. Azrael's own soul will be taken by Allah. He will be the last creature to die. He will be asked to put his hand on his cheek and lie down. He will say, O oh Allah, you have created me from nothing and you have given me the honor of taking the souls of your servants. I have done my job faithfully and obediently. Now I ask you to take my soul with mercy and forgiveness. He will give his soul and then Allah will resurrect everyone for the day of judgment. This is the end of the video. We hope you enjoyed it and learned something new. Please like, share, and subscribe to our channel for more videos on Islam. Thank you for watching and may Allah bless you. Peace be upon you.